Yes, what I eat in the day is a fat girl and eat a disorder recovery. So I had some ice water when I woke up and then for breakfast I had the same as yesterday, which is just these mini chocolate wheat mixes. And then I was really craving cup of soup. So I had this minestrone cup of soup and it was actually delicious. Ice water and then I had a Chinese. I thought it was only right, given all the controversy, that I got myself a Chinese. Um, we had chicken. Sweet and sour sauce, fried rice, noodles, salt and pepper chicken, some chips, and obviously curry sauce. Say what you want to say, it's delicious. I will die on that hill. The family that runs local Chinese is are amazing. Anyways, here's my new pajamas you can't really see because it's so dark. I had to want water and went to bed. Or I guess even like, what are you eating today? What are you eating today as a fat person who's not trying to lose weight or I guess even look cute? For breakfast, I had some egg whites with a mini bagel with definitely not enough cream cheese, but whatever. I also had some salt and pepper pistachios because you got to get cracking, you know. Um, and then I cooked broccoli and I also made pasta, hence broccoli and pasta with a pineapple mango prebiotics. Un uncooked cheese, by the way. Unmelted cheese. I just have a severe problem with people that cook food and they don't have the cheese melt on top of it. Like, what did you do? leave the pasta out for like 25 minutes and then wait for it to cool off and then put the cheese on top. I never understood that. I also don't understand why people eat so many seed type things like pistachios or even sunflower seeds. Like it's cool when you're nine and you're at your little league practice and they're like, hey bro, you wanna eat some seeds? And you're like, I just wanna be a part of the culture. I wanna be accepted. Yes, I'll have some seeds, absolutely. But when you're a grown man and you're a grown woman, I just kinda think, any food with an outer shell probably just shouldn't be consumed. Am I wrong? Or at least have somebody else shell it for you or like whatever, dude, like wherever you're growing these things. So probably somewhere down in like, I don't know, dude, South America somewhere, dude, v Vietnamese or whatever. Just have those people peel off the shells for you. And the same thing could be said for the people that eat a lot of lobster or a lot of like crabs. They're sitting there with the hammers and they got like that specialized cracker thingy. And I just think like, if it's more effort to, to open up the food to get whatever you're getting, which is basically just a sea spider, uh, you're, you're, you're doing a lot. You know, if you're sitting there pounding at the table, trying to get into the meat, I just think that personally speaking, it's not appropriate. You know, I've never in my life have I ever looked at a burger and thought I need to beat this shit in with a hammer. Never thought of doing that shit. Um, it's a little psychopathic in my opinion, dude. It might be people trying to, you know, feed into their inner murder instinct or something like that. I don't know. It's something I feel like a lot of people should be looking at. But I often wonder, when these people do the what I eat in a day videos, I often wonder, is this actually how much you're eating in a day? And probably not. They're probably just lying because they have no reason to not show you everything they're eating in a day. There's literally no defect to it. And of course, they're going to show you things that they're, you know, they want you to see and not show you things that you don't want to see. Like, for instance, when you watch me, you don't know that I probably beat off in this room before, you know, like there are probably things that have happened here, but I'm not going to show you that stuff because obviously I'm a professional individual. The same thing here. So when it comes to things that you eat, there's almost no benefit to show off any, all the things that you eat because you want people to believe that you're some kind of superhero. You want people to believe that you're some kind of like abstract being that has the ability to eat literally anything or eat very low calories and somehow you're still fat and then people look at that and go how is this girl so fat how how is she overweight and obese and she and she doesn't eat that much because she does because she does she's lying to you and she's doing it quite frequently and you're dumb for believing that she can weigh 300 pounds and still be eating what looks to be a thousand two thousand calories at more at most it's just a lie. These people are putting on a facade to try to make it seem like they're just special. When they're not special, they're just dying. Soda. Um, yeah, that was good. Trying to be Italian or something. Oh, I also made toast bread with it. Then I went through shopping. Of course, I ate the clothes. Um, more spaghetti when I came home with cranberry juice and water. Then I had one of those smacking lunch things, PB&J. The schmuckers, which in my opinion are okay when you're like 9 or 10 and your parents don't want to actually make you a peanut butter and jelly. Or there's like a novelty to eating those particular small little, but in my opinion, dude... Let's, can we just normalize making our own peanut butter and jellies? Like, I don't know why so many people 
the upcharge on these things are inc incredible, dude. If you buy your own peanut butter and you buy your own jelly and you make your own sandwiches and you buy the device on like Amazon, another app where you like smush them together to get those creases around it, it's going to be way cheaper in the long run. And you act like kids even know the difference at all, dude. No, they don't. They don't know anything. Kids are dumb. They, they just say stuff. So, no, I disagree on eating smuckers and I also disagree on... Uh, I also disagree on spending all the money on the, on the on those particular smuckers. I think they're irrelevant. They're cool to look at, and they're also cool to eat. And don't get me wrong, I've spent money on things that probably shouldn't be spent money on. But I know I'm never spending money on schmuckers. Wherever they are, I had chai tea latte and tacos for dinner. They're like, <laughs> why'd she say it like that? Tacos, tacos for Wherever dinner. Wherever they are, I had chai tea latte and tacos for dinner. They're like veggie tacos with sour cream, veggie meat, cheese lettuce and into the night with a crumble cookie peaches Damn. and cream what i eat in it i'm not gonna hate on it dude i just wish she would eat like this consistently like all the time i don't know why these people think that they can just get away with eating terrible disgusting crap like we've seen recently even that there are tons of people in the community right now uh of the fat people community that are dealing with the negative side effects of being fat and it's almost kind of like they're like blown away like they woke up right from like a day's sleep and they got like those they got like those the, the tweety birds around their head and they're like this like you know like oh man i can't believe that i'm dying from my obesity like i see people like foodie beauty who are now suffering from the negative effects of obesity i mean obviously she has been suffering with these effects for always like for her entire life but now it seems like it's coming to its apex like you're really starting to see a lot of the issues and people like Amber Lynn and people like, I don't even, I hope not Becky, but there's a lot of people in these communities that are dealing with these a lot of these problems. And I feel like just because you're not dealing with all these problems right now, doesn't mean you're not going to get, you know, like 10, 15 years from now, not even that sometimes, even five, six, seven, eight years, you're going to start dealing with stuff, right? The way I like to look at it is life is every five or six or 10 years, even you'll have a little, little things that just happen, like new, new little, I don't know what you want to call it, dude, but uh, additions to your life where things just start hurting for no reason. And then you wonder, what the fuck is going on with that shit? I didn't have, I've never had this issue before and I've never had this issue ever, like in my, like it's never been a thing, but now you just start having issues. Like for me personally, right? I know since I've, cre I've been creeping up on my 30s, uh, my shoulders <laughs> for some reason, like when I lift stuff up or I go to like lift up a window, my shoulders are like compromised. They feel not good. And I don't like that. I, d I don't like that at all. And I'll, I'll call myself a pussy or a bitch because I have this shoulder pain and I'm not really sure why I have it. Or like four years ago, my thumb just stopped working optimally. I was able to do this. Like with this thumb, I'm able to do this, no problem. But I cannot do that with this thumb. Otherwise, I'll be in extreme pain. And I've learned to live with it. It's not even a problem anymore because I don't crack my knuckle on this hand anymore. So it's not a big deal. But it was uh, definitely something to get used to when you're you know, consistently cracking your knuckles or you're consistently touching your knuckle in that particular type of way. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have that, but expedited times 100 uh, on basically everything in your life. Like I couldn't even imagine what your knee pain, your ankle pain or any of that stuff would be feeling like, especially if you have two, three, four, five times the amount of weight that it should. Today as an insecure TikToker who cured my body dysmorphia with a filter and oh my God, I am so relieved I'm not actually that skinny because it was scary. <laughs> For breakfast, I had a same. Was that a filter or was that a joke? Is this a filter? I wouldn't be surprised, dude. You know, the amount of people that I've seen with filters nowadays, it's astronomical, the amount of people that run with filters on their everyday videos. And I always think, like, this is incredibly impractical because if somebody sees you in public or if I guess maybe these people are just banking on never being popular enough to be seen in public or anybody really caring about them. But I also still think that it's not in, it's not consistent. Like, what if you need to do like a podcast or talk to somebody over like a Zoom meeting and they go, yeah, well, we were going to um, we're going to introduce this great fat activist. She's beautiful. She's amazing. Introducing so and so. And they come up on the camera and their face is like three times larger than their face is usually in all their videos, Becky Jones. And then you go, what the, who is this? Who are you? Did you eat the fat influencer? Who, like, you, it, it's just not practical. So maybe they just never plan on ever seeing like the outside realm or like anybody noticing them, but it's very impractical. Really, I'm not actually that scared. And then also, uh, it's also not good because like you're basically feeding into this whole like diet culture industry, right? You yourself cannot be thin, but you can have an, uh, you can have a filter that's going to make you thin. Like, aren't you literally the exact thing you swore to destroy? Because it was scary. <laughs> 
For breakfast, I had a sandwich with cream cheese, cheese, bacon, Izzy, and grapes. Okay. Then I did my daily... Yo! What the fuck are you doing? You know what I was thinking about recently, though, actually? How come women can just shake ass and everybody goes... But for men, we don't have anything equivalent. Like, what do we have? We can't just shake penis because then we'll get arrested. People are totally fine with women shaking straight domesticated butt cheeks. And then here we are as men looking down at the floor crying because we don't have anything to shake. We don't have anything to display for anybody to look at. And you guys might be going biceps, David. Biceps, nice neck capacity. Like, maybe if your neck is nice and thick, maybe. But... Uh, we don't, it's not to the same degree as butt cheeks. Like there's never been anybody in the world that's ever looked at butt cheeks and went, that's d diabolical. That is dis disrespectful to my, well, sometimes, sometimes it just depends on the butt cheeks, but you know what I'm saying? Like, where is the equality? And if you're a feminist out there and you really are looking for the equality between men and women, I think this is something that we need to talk about. I think this is something that needs to be adjusted. I think this is something that just we need to put this in the public zeitgeist. I really think that because it's too it's too much inequality nowadays. Forget about the gender pay gap. Um, forget about woman's suffrage. That stuff's all irrelevant. Let's talk about butt cheek shaking and why men can't do that too. Shake the skinny away dance. I got that looks like cat food. This looks like you made some ramen and then you poured like cat food on top of it. And I've had a cat before. This looks like that fancy feast shit, dude. You know I fed my cat that good shit. I'm just feeding it to the capitalist in me. You know what I'm talking about? I know it wasn't really that fucking much better than nine lives or whatever the fuck. I went with a friend and I had raspberry boba. By the way, boba tea is a scam. I know. <laughs> dude, Um, I remember one time I went out with this girl and she was like, let's get boba. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm not buying it though. Because I walked in and I saw that that boba tea for a large was like literally eight or nine dollars. And I was like, what? Why is it so much money? Like, what are you getting out of it? Like, what is the cup made out of, dude? Like, is this, is this made from the Chinese person's hand? Like, is it skinned from their actual skin themselves? Or like, what am I getting out of this boba tea? Like here I am spending one whole dollar on my McDonald's coffee. And then she comes out with this bougie cup with little beads, anal beads at the bottom. And I'm just looking at it like, you know, what are you getting out of this shit? What is even in that? The ramen and shrimp sushi. Then we split some Australian pastries. See the pastry, this makes sense. Like I can see now. So the pastry is usually, uh, I'm sorry, did she say Australian pastry? Boba, ramen, and shrimp sushi. Then we split some Australian pastry. I didn't even, uh, what is Australian pastry? What is that, dude? Where are the kangaroos located in this? Where are the koalas? Well, I don't know what, why do people, do people say American pastry when you eat like apple pie? No, because nobody gives a fuck. Like, I don't know why, listen, we globalized, okay? Pastries, food in general, it doesn't have a location anymore, okay? So if you go like, oh yeah, I want New York style pizza, that's okay. But if you go, I want Australian pastry, what is even that? Like, what is Australian about this particular delicacy that makes it so Australian? Did it come from Australia? And if it did, so the fuck what? I don't know, understand, like when people go and they go, David, we gotta get this authentic, we gotta get this authentic Italian bread, Italian bread. And I'm going, dude, you're paying an extra four dollars for this big loaf of bread right and this shit was just made today from the black guy behind the counter the guy with cocoa butter on his hands okay dude now i have no problem eating bread that had been crafted from the black guy behind the counter with the ankle bracelet and the cocoa buttered lubricated hands i have no problem with that but the issue i have is that people will spend extra money for the word italian it's nothing italian about this shit what is italian about this shit? the dough that dough wasn't made here i guess you're paying all that money for the dough go ahead pay your fucking money for that shit but i guarantee you it doesn't matter <laughs> bread is bread dude i don't give a fuck the left tasted almost like a German chocolate cake, and the right was a vanilla cake with a creamy filling. See, this is what I'm talking about. You paid all that money for an Australian cake, and literally nothing about it screamed Australian to you. Was there a guy that came out of there and go, crikey? If that was the case, uh, depending on how much it was, if it was like $12, maybe I could consider it. But given the fact that there was no Australian man, and there were no kangaroos in sight, I'm not paying whatever that was. And by the way... Getting Lunchables as an adult should be a sin, okay? I don't know how many times I've seen, listen, going to the store and buying those like snack pack things of cheese and meat is cheaper. And you can get the Ritz on the side. Dude, that shit is literally cheaper than it would have been if you just bought this. I'm gonna keep it a buck. What are these, like five or six dollars, dude? The snack packs are probably around that same size, right? The same same amount of food and you're probably paying the same amount and you're getting the Ritz. But here's the thing, you can make easily three or four three or four different versions of 
the Lunchables. And I get it. I do. I was a Lunchable kid. I was one of those kids that your parents gave the Lunchables to when you went on the field trips and you thought you were so much better than everybody else. You were better than them. But here's the thing. Also, they have no food. They're literally just... Uh, these are anorexic versions of uh, what you could have gotten if your parents actually cared about you. And I'm not saying my parents didn't care about me, but... Uh, I was just dumb, and I convinced my family. I, I I I convinced my family to believe that these were better, and they're a marketing scheme. These are terrible. These are fucking gross. And you know how I know these are gross? I had a friend that used to buy. They used to be on sale at the local Stop and Shop a few years back, and he would stock up. They used to be two bucks, and he would buy. Not even joking, what you do? Like forty of them, and he would bring them home, and he would literally eat ten of them at a time. I'm not joking. This is a big man we're talking about. 10 Lunchables, and that shit barely even satisfied him. He had to still body slam down some Red Bull, some Monster, dude. And he was probably having some Little Debbies on the side, too. I mean, he was a big man. So, don't eat these snack packs. Make an actual meal, dude. This shit is off. This is terrible. Don't do it to yourself, okay? You're committing sins every time you walk into the store and you leave with one of these. And uh, I hate to tell you, bro, this is not good. It's just not. Stop doing this. Then I had a Lunchable with ginger ale. They healthified it basically. And let me tell you, the processed one tasted so much better. For dinner, I made street tacos, AKA I bought a box of street tacos from Costco and heated them up. They were actually pretty good. I was surprised. My diet confuses you guys so much. So let me just break it down. Some days I feel like eating meat and some days I feel like being vegan. That's the luxury of having food freedom and intuitive eating. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine, dude. Eat whatever you want whenever you want to, I guess, dude. But it just doesn't work for a lot of people given the fact that you're obese. Like, that is literally the sign that you're not doing it correctly. Intuitive eating, if everybody doesn't know, is just eat whatever you feel like you want to eat and then also eat it until you feel full, which can be very not good depending on what the food is. Like, I'll give you a really good example. If you eat cabbage and you're going i really want to eat cabbage right now i'm gonna eat until i full well you're gonna eat that and you're gonna fill up pretty quickly because cabbage is pretty dense okay it's not dense in calories because most of it's water but if you go i want to eat a lot of cake right i want to eat cake and you get like i don't know dude like chocolate double chocolate chip cake or whatever you can eat a lot of chocolate chip cake and uh turns out that's gonna be a lot of calories too so intuitive eating might be okay for somebody like me which I don't really, I struggle all the time with eating in general, right? So that's probably okay for me. But for this girl who's already obese, it's not. Um, because that's li you're literally doing it incorrect. You're eating whatever you want, whenever you want. And you do it until you can't stop, until you stop anymore, right? You're obese. You're fat. Uh, I'm literally, I literally see that it's not working for you. But, you know, hey, uh, I can't really tell her anything like that, dude. I mean, you would have thought after the double necks or the double chins would have, you know, gave you an indication that probably this should have been something that you stopped. But, nah. Eat whatever you want, I guess. And some days I feel like being vegan. That's the luxury of having food freedom and intuitive it's eating. It's not a luxury of having food freedom. It's just it, people eat like that all the time. Like, you know that, right? Like, it, it, somebody's going to eat meat and then the next time they're going to be like, oh, wow, I just want to eat vegan today. I mean, it's kind of dumb to be honest. Like, what you would think, look, being vegan for one day and then the next day being like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to be meat eater again today. Um, you can do that. That's just called eating like regular. You know that? Uh, it's not called I, today I'm a meat eater. T tomorrow I'm a vegan. That's not how that fucking works. That's kind of dumb. But, you know, go off, queen. Right, this is what I've eaten today. Hungover edition. Started off strong with the Mackies. Chips, cold and soggy as usual. The chicken nuggets were... I, you know, you gotta love Corey's world, dude. He's one of my favorite... He's one of my favorite what I eat in a day, people, because honestly speaking, dude, he doesn't look like he's very fat, but I know he is. Like, I know he's definitely dealing... Anybody that's eating a 20-piece, dude, in a fucking row... And don't get me wrong, I, I've met a lot of people that can easily body a 40-piece and not even feel it. By the way, uh, a 20-piece is about 1,000 calories, more close to about 900 calories, depending on how much grease and whether or not the Puerto Rican guy was being generous with the amount of chicken he was giving you. So I'm gonna go as far as to say it's like 900 calories i know you don't feel good after eating that i've been to mcdonald's and i love mcdonald's it's one of the all tier best fast food places. it might be the definitive fast food place but that doesn't take away from the fact that the food at the restaurants are all slop they're never gonna be good that's okay though because you're you know what it is nobody ever said mcdonald's was like a nobody ever said mcdonald's was the best nobody ever said mcdonald's was like the best quality food we know it's not good you remember like literally three years ago when they had that whole campaign and they were like well McDonald's has real meat. Can you believe that? The fact that you guys even had to have a campaign disclosing to people that it was real meat is crazy. Okay, nobody like the point I'm making is nobody thinks McDonald's is good food. Okay, you, when you eat these when you eat these chicken nuggets right here, 
Just imagine when you're eating these foreskin, horse foreskin, okay? The Indian guy that put it together probably gave a little bit of his uh, spit in there. Who knows, bro? Probably tastes better from that. Seasoned up a little bit, right? Foreskin, giraffe meat. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Nobody cares. I don't care. You don't care. You're eating it because you know it tastes good in your mouth. The point I'm making is uh, you're going to feel shit after eating this. I've eaten two QPs in a row and I felt like I was grease. I felt like the physical embodiment of grease. And for Corey's world, he eats like this consistently all the time. By the way, 1,500 calories for the fry and the the the, the, the 20 piece. They're amazing. 10 out of 10. They were so good. It's not a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is crazy, bro. Can you, oh, man, dude, rating fast food 10 out of 10 is insane, dude. Never in your life. Never in your life should you ever say those words. And I had a Big Mac as well. Oh, and a Big Mac. My bad. A Big Mac too off the side, dude. Can you imagine having the Big Mac as a side? Damn, bro, that's some pure obesity shit right there. Always gotta add extra cheese in your Big Mac. And then I found that's, these in the fridge. I'm pretty that's sure. That's kind of crazy, dude. Adding extra cheese to the Big Mac is kind of crazy. I'm sure they were Charlie's, I'm not sure, but they were so good. But thanks. And then I swear Corey has aged so much in the last year, dude. I swear, dude. I watch Corey's I watch Corey's world now and I'm like, he just celebrated his 28th birthday. And I was looking at him. And he was like, all right, guys, so today is my birthday. So in order to celebrate my birthday, I got a Mackey's. It's the best. My girlfriend, who also looks like she's my mum, she's also celebrating it with me. She got me the best birthday gift ever, Mackey's. Anyway, if you don't like watching fat people eat, don't watch me because I love to eat. That's him every single time. I looked at him and I thought, this is not a 20 year old man. This guy looks like he's in his mid thirties, if not approaching 40. And that's what happens when you're <laughs> perpetually eating like shit all the time. You put in, you get out. This is really what it is. For tea, and yes, it's my second takeaway of the day. Damn. I had a KFC. Dude, KFC making those like share boxes, dude. Th those things are massive, by the way. Can we and just talk about that for a second? And yes, it's my second Big as fuck. Big as fuck, dude. These things are massive. Uh, the and they never fill them up. What the fuck you do first? I got to keep it a bug, okay? If you're going to Mickey D's, uh, I'm sorry. If you go to KFC and you're getting beans, I didn't even know they did that. Uh, where'd you get beans at exactly at KFC? I, this got to be a UK thing. I don't know why so many people in the UK eat like shit consistently. What the fuck are you doing? They didn't even put a lid on this shit because they were like, dude, you really want beans? Are you sure? We don't even serve beans. We'll give you some beans. This is gross. See, twist the wrap meal. Oh man, what you do with the mashed potatoes, bro? And yes, it's my bro. second takeaway of the day. I had the KFC. You know the mashed but Dude, hold up. Did you order this? It kind of looked like the Uber Eats guy did a little something extra with your potatoes, man. Hold up. Twist the wrap. Am I wrong? Neil, I've never tried the mushroom here before and it was banging. You, you've eaten at KFC before and you've never had the mashed potatoes, but I just saw you order beans. Is that what you do? You just order the beans, but you don't order the mashed potatoes? Am I? Hold on. I feel like I'm missing something, dude. Something's got to happen in the UK. There needs, this needs to be addressed. I'm sick of people in the UK eating beans. That's not natural. It's not normal. Stop doing that shit. Potatoes? All right. Makes sense. Chicken and mashed potatoes? All right. But beans? Uh, don't know why you guys love beans so much. Beans are okay, but they're not like apex tier. You guys will literally buy that shit over most other foods. That's crazy, okay? Beans are okay when you're having them with hot dogs. That's it. I would never look at a bean in a sexually promiscuous way in the same way that these people do in the UK. You guys are weird, okay? And I'll die on that hill. And of course, there'll be people that go, David, what are you talking about? You're American, dude. What do you guys eat? Yes, I get it. Our food is also equally destructive to the body. But at least it's delectable. At least we know how to season it, unless you're white. But if you're white, even white people know how to season food now, if you go to the South at least. And I know how to season too. I've dated many black women. Does anyone else get beans from KFC? Nobody. Nobody gets beans from KFC. It's an abomination. I don't even, they gave you this in like a reused apple applesauce container. This doesn't look good at all. It literally looks like they just threw it together. I'm surprised that it looks like this. They just hit different. My favorite color is beige. So I ate beige all day. I had toast on butter. Rate my toast out of 10. That looks dry as. Oh my God, I went to sing Faggins today. I haven't been here for years. Can Excuse you... me, bro? <laughs> Hold up. Dry as. Oh my God, I went to sing Faggins. I can't, you know, I'm not gonna say anything about it, though. It is what it is. It's not a bad way of saying that word, right? You couldn't catch me saying that word. I don't want to be canceled. But I really don't like that we use that word and it's like a cancelable term. When I grew up, okay, do you know, do you know 
if you play Grand Theft Auto 5 and even any other Grand Theft Auto, there is a motorcycle. It's not actually a motorcycle. It's more like a scooter in that game, and it's called a Gyo. And I'm not going to say the word but because everybody will, like, fucking get on my dick for that shit. But it's an actual vehicle in the game, and I don't think I'm a bad person for saying the name of the vehicle, okay? It's a EO. And then also, if I'm going to be honest, when I grew up, you know the uh, the fanny packs that people like to call them fanny packs? We never called them fanny packs. When I grew up, we called them bags. That's what we called them. And it's really crazy how language changes so quickly in the last like 10 years. And now nobody can say that word, dude. And it kind of seems crazy because people in the UK say that shit all the fucking time and they don't get canceled for it. It doesn't make sense. Do they? I haven't been here for years. Can you cope with how cute this piglet is? It makes me never want to eat bacon again. <laughs> After seeing the Man, animal. he's trolling, dude. He's trolling OD on that shit, right? It's obviously not a piglet, bro. Get your shit together, man. Get this fucking, get your fucking shit together, bro. You know this is an otter. Can you cope with how cute this piglet is? It makes me never want to eat bacon again. After seeing the animals, I thought vegetarian. So I had a cheese and pickle roll. True. Cheese and pickle? Basic. Row, row. That's the words of Sharon off EastEnders. I had four pack of mini cheddars Damn. while I was cooking tea. We had burnt halloumi, cheeseburgers. Damn. Dude, that cheeseburger is crazy, bro. What the fuck happened to it? Is that a meatball with some cheese on it? Oh, she knows I'm not allowed cheese. She spiked me. And some homemade chips. Oh, man. They, you guys got to do something about the, the, the amount of mayonnaise that people in the UK put upon their food is insane. I get it. You guys like mayonnaise? This is crazy, dude. Here in America, we don't do that. We, we would put ketchup on it. Maybe a little bit of mayonnaise, depending on what you're eating, but never on the burger like this. If it ain't cheesy. Mayonnaise. Damn. We love you. Damn. Mayonnaise. Leah smashed this out the field. Usually, her cooking ain't this good. You haven't got a foot to stand on. If you open <laughs> because all that diabetes, right, dude? You ain't got a foot to stand on because that shit's about to fall the, the fuck shop, off. What would you call it? Burger me timbers. If I open one, I'd call it. Am I wrong, dude? His girl does look like she's approaching 40, shop, right? What would you Sometimes I gaze upon people in the UK and like you guys, uh, you guys wear a lot of like tanner I've seen and you guys wear a lot of things that I would not be comfortable wearing at all. Like, don't get me wrong. I dress like I'm homeless 90% of the time. Like, as you can see, this shirt that I'm wearing right now literally has a hole in it. So, I mean, I'm not trying to proclaim that I'm like a connoisseur of men's fashion or anything like that, but dude, the tanner is kind of crazy. Like that shit is thick as hell too, bro. You guys are literally borderline POCs at that point. I'm watching and I'm looking at dudes over there and I'm looking like, dude, is that a black guy? And they're like, oh no, that's just my friend Ron. He just wears a lot of tanner. And I'm just looking like, you sure dude, Ron? I don't know about that, dude. Like that guy looks black. He looks like he's really black or like maybe a really, uh, or oh, a Puerto Rican. A lot of Puerto Ricans are black. I don't know. I don't care what anybody says, but uh, the tanner is crazy, and it, I don't know why. Like, I get it. You guys don't get a lot of sun, so I guess, like, that's, like, your way of showing off that you do get sun, but it's not real sun, because if you ever start sweating, I see it coming off of you, but anyway. You call it. Burger me timbers. If I open one, I'd call it burger nips. All right, guys, that's the end of the video, so I hope everybody enjoyed today's video, and if you did, uh, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in duct tape because this is a be this is a fix all thing that you can easily fix a lot of stuff with but apparently not a chair because i was trying to fix it with my chair and it just didn't work so i guess i'm gonna have to buy another one i guess or try to fix it in some other way i don't know dude if you know anything about fixing chairs please let me know because i don't want to buy another one i already spent like i think i spent like 170 on this one and i thought that that was gonna like last me years but apparently i was lied to i guess i don't know but anyway uh duct tape uh, it can also be good in other formats, if you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, fixing boats, probably. Anyway, um, you guys are beautiful people. I love every single one of you, including you, the person watching this right now. You beautiful, majestic human being, you. I care for you a lot. I think you smell really good, by the way. Your hair looks oddly lubricated today. Very oddly lubricated. Very delightful, if I were to tell the truth. And I love it. And I love you. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.